Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Um, ew, I never know how to do intros. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure what it is. Like what the hell, I'll just kind of tag. Oh, I shouldn't swear. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering where I got this hair clip, because a lot of people actually ask me where it's from. It's from YesStyle. I did a haul with Sincere, I believe, where we showed it and we both really like feathers and leaves and nature and stuff. I love YesStyle, but unfortunately now their shipping prices are really expensive and it's just not really worth it. Plus it's really fast fashion, which isn't the greatest. Being a broke student, I really enjoyed that at one point in my life. In this week's video, I thought it'd be nice kind of to do an update. Cool things are happening about my virtual graduation that will be June 17th, Wednesday, that I'm sure most of you are like, what is that? Because also I'm like, I kind of just want my degree in the mail. So some of my friends were asking, because I posted on my last video, that Santa Ono actually featured me on his Instagram. So I'll quickly show you in case you're wondering. So... So this is his Instagram and I'm just going to quickly scroll, scroll because he posts a lot and then if I click on it, there's just a little caption there with like my degree and everything. So a lot of people were wondering how I got featured, do I know the president and while I don't know him that well, I have met him in a couple of book events that the bookstore holds, some are downtown, some are in the Chan Center, and then the bookstore basically sells books there and then promotes whatever speaker is speaking on that day. And that's why I know him from a couple of those events, but I don't think he would remember me that well just from them, just because it's late at night. For this specific post, he actually made a story and he was just like, hey, if you're graduating, tag me and then I might repost you kind of thing. And then so I actually posted my graduation picture two or three weeks before he made that announcement so i tagged him thinking what what could it hurt so if you look there i actually did tag him so i tagged him and i'm like what could it hurt it'd be kind of fun to be on his wall you know that way i can look back and be like oh my god the president he like tagged me you know and then so he actually did it and that's the whole story so nothing super huge but I will say in regards to my virtual graduation, I was waiting to hear more about what would be happening, especially in the fall. Usually the bookstore is in charge of all the gowns and the renegalia and stuff. So I had an idea of what I was going to do for the graduations that were to come in the end of May. But since everything has changed because of COVID and my whole concussion, I haven't been in store, I wasn't actually aware. So you can actually order things online, but the bookstore is not in charge of that. So there went my discount. So number one, I am incredibly grateful that we're even having a fall ceremony for our graduation. I know it's super difficult, especially for UBC to accommodate because we have a lot of international students and there's no way we have anywhere, even the Rose Garden, that would fill up all these seats if we were all sitting six feet apart to social distance. So I'm kind of pleased that we actually do have a graduation, but I'm also glad that we have a virtual graduation, the first of its kind. Win or lose, it's kind of not really a huge deal to me. Obviously, I would wish that I would be able to celebrate at the university, I would be able to take pictures at the bookstore, different areas that I've spent most of my undergraduate at, but you win some, you lose some. That's my thought process at least. I just kind of wish that my bachelors would come before the virtual ceremony, that way I would feel more accomplished holding it in my hands. But something cool came in from my faculty and I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure what it is, but I will unbox it right now. So I'm not going to show you my address, but I will show you what came in the mail today and I was pleasantly surprised. So that came from the university. It's from the Faculty of Lands and Food Systems. So I actually don't know if other departments are going to be doing something similar to this. I would hope that they would for their students, but I understand that it's something special and I'm so grateful that my small faculty cares enough about its graduates to be doing something special. And it's super small, like it's the size of like, like my head. So I didn't expect them to be doing anything, to be honest. I just thought that they were shipping out our degrees. So I thought it'd be nice to show on camera what gift my faculty is given. And if you didn't receive anything from your faculty, we can pretend vicariously that I'm sharing with you. I'm gonna cut it facing me, sorry. Oh, 
It looks really cute. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says class of 2020. On the back it says the University of British Columbia, Faculty of Lands and Food Systems. And we are a small faculty, so I'm really touched and pleased and like appreciative that they even care about us enough to be giving these out. And I mean, honestly, if you went on campus and you engaged with somebody and then they asked you what faculty you were from, if you tell them lands and food systems, the only degree that they're going to think about is dietetics. And dietetics is a huge part of our faculty, don't get me wrong. I just kind of always feel sad because other faculties. Other faculties. Hi. I actually meant other degrees, other majors. They're definitely not faculty. There's only one faculty. The faculty that I love and know and the faculty that I'm celebrating. And yeah, the Lands and Food Systems faculty, but I meant major. They also sent a card. It's so cute. They wrote me a card that says Jessica. For the this is probably from our farm at UBC and it's so cute. I'm just going to quickly read it in case you guys wanted to hear it. So it says, congratulations, we are proud of your achievements. Know that everyone in LFS is cheering you on. Best of luck, our class of 2020. So a lot of people have also been asking, so what's up with your virtual graduation? What's going to happen? I honestly don't know. We were emailed a couple of weeks ago about sending in like pictures for our graduation slide. Apparently they're gonna do something like a PowerPoint. You can either send pictures or videos or just have your name. And I opted just to have my name just because I'm not so wildly attached to anything really right now. I feel like I've dedicated a lot of years to my faculty and my degree and my specialization. But this day, like June 17th and the virtual graduation is not going to be a defining moment in my life. And I feel like every day moving forward should be. And I guess a lot has changed in my perception and everything due to this concussion. Every day I wonder if I'm going to be the same person that I was before, if I'll be better, so yeah. But I feel like taking control of my life is something that I'm very proud of right now and I'm hoping that it gets better. I am emotionally in touch and I'm pretty proud of it. After seeing Brene Brown's Power of Vulnerability speak, I'm also listening to her on Audible and I'm not sponsored by Audible. If somebody could send me a link so I could get a free trial, that would also be great because like paying for it is kind of pricey. So I think I was actually going to do a story time about my claim and everything, but I think I'll wait until my whole concussion is over over and then I can tell everything in depth. I just don't want it to be half of a story and then suddenly I need to update everything. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and feel free to subscribe if you're actually interested. If not, that's totally fine. I hope you guys are living the best life that you can and I hope that every day you find something new and something you like. So yeah, that is my outro and I'll see you when I see you.